On to the latest from Sri Lanka next. The latest casualties of the island nation's worsening fuel crisis is a 53-year-old rickshaw driver. The man is reported to have lost his life due to a heart attack while waiting in line for several hours outside a gas station. He is not the only one. Thousands of Sri Lankans are queuing up outside oil stations, hoping for just a drop of fuel. The oil crisis has immobilized the island nation. Citizens are unable to drive their cars and public transport has also been severely affected. The number of buses on the roads has reduced to a fraction of its previous fleet. App-based cab services are unable to ply as before. Fishermen are also unable to venture out into the sea due to a lack of oil to fuel their boats. This has really impacted their livelihoods. A shortage of fuel such as kerosene and LPG has also left many citizens unable to cook food. Sri Lanka is reeling under its worst economic crisis since independence in 1948. The crisis was brought on by a combination of the pandemic ravaging the country's tourism industry, tax cuts rising oil prices and a serious dip in the foreign exchange reserves in the country. The latter has left the leadership unable to import essential items such as fuel, food and medicines. And for more on this, our correspondent Dasuni Thaura has sent us the latest from Colombo. Take a look. The vehicles parked right behind me have been left overnight by motorists with the hope of obtaining fuel at some point of the day today. Now, Sri Lanka's fuel crisis has reached a new low with fuel stocks at very low levels, not only in Colombo, but also across many parts of the island. As a result, motorists are now resorting to leaving their vehicles in these lines and to come back at some point of the day today upon receiving confirmation from the fuel stations that a Bowser has arrived for fuel distribution. Keep in mind, this is all part of Sri Lanka's worsening economic crisis with no solution still in sight. Reporting for We On World is One from Colombo, I'm Dasuni Thauta. We On World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.